Hello my dear subscribers, this is May Killed You and today I'm gonna bring to you guys a second generation BL Madden. Yes, two uploads and both second generation. This is awesomeness. I'm really loving second generation now. It's I just really wanna play it. So yeah, I got a match against someone who's new to the generation. Totally new generation, he's a 5th gen guy, he's coming to 2nd generation and for his 3rd match he did really well in this match. So he is Oliver, you guys can go check him out if you guys are interested in German stuff, he does do German stuff. So go check him out, link in the description. Uh, if you guys look at my team, I do have Charizard, Yugong, Alakazam, Mark, Donphan and Dragonite, uh, Alakazam, Standard, Charizard, Donphan, Dragonite, Mark, Standard only. Dugong is only gimmicky Pokemon I have and I love the Perish Pool set these and I created so I really wanted to bring it and I'm using it in all my UU and BL battles because it's really really working out but too bad this battle doesn't do much but it still does some work as you will see. So my Charizard is just the normal Smogon set, uh, my Dugong the Perish Pool, Alakazam standard set, Mark standard set. Uh, my Donphan is the standard set I think and my Dragonite is the only special set I have. Uh, I really wanted to use E-Speed because I haven't seen anybody using an E-Speed Dragonite and I did not want to make it illegal move and stuff so I did ask Federico, a uh, experienced second gen player to make me a set and he made it a monstrous set. As you're going to see in this battle, Dragonite is going to be my savior. Without it, I would have been terrible I would have been in places where you wouldn't have thought I would have been so yeah without further ado let's get straight on to the battle all right so I'm gonna save my game and I'm gonna go in now and this battle is against Oliver let's see how I fare in this BL match with my amazing amazing Dragonite set so I'm gonna lead off with my Charizard he's gonna lead off with his Alakazam straight away I know these things pull off can pull off a thunder wave so I'm gonna switch out to my Ellie Golding my Dawnfin because it's immune to it we all know that and uh, then I know my earthquake is a solid two shot on him and uh, his psychic will not do much it's maybe a three or four shot depending on min or max damage crits and blah 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 so as you're gonna see he's gonna go for the psychic and it's not gonna do a lot of damage it's gonna do almost half and then I'm gonna retaliate the earthquake which does a hell of a lot of damage on this guy it's a solid one and a half hit KO and uh, now I'm gonna go for a body slam predicting a switch to a bird Pokemon to get immune to my earthquake and brilliantly I predict that he's gonna switch out to Aerodactyl and body slam is going to get the thunder wave which is a savior in this match because as you guys know this guy is really really fast and can retaliate with some hard heating hits and I'm gonna go for the roar because I do not want this guy to stay in any of my Pokemon he's gonna go with the fire blast not gonna do a lot of damage but of course he's gonna get a burn first piece of hacks his side but really doesn't matter I'm gonna keep going because I know this game is mine now I'm gonna go for the earthquake when I rode and then uh, the Sam Frost comes in he's gonna switch out and send out his scissor if I'm not mistaken yes his scissor and uh, as you're gonna see the scissor set is really not gonna be a good one uh, scissors are really really uh, scissors are usually really powerful but this one's not gonna do a lot of stuff because I do have my uh, blunder which can totally wall this thing as you can see it's gonna be a sub Swording set, sub, so, yeah, sword, sub dancing set, swording, whatever. And uh, he's gonna swords dance here, and I can keep going for the fire blast. And in this gen, um, moves uh, have a very, very rare chance of missing, so I'm just gonna keep going for the fire blast. And if he keeps going for a substitute, he's gonna go through a range where one fire blast will take him out, and he is going to definitely have to hit me. And I can take hits for days, and he's gonna go for another substitute. And from this range, I'm definitely sure fire blast is a one shot KO from here and now he's gonna go for a steel wing if I'm not mistaken because he knows that he can't keep going for substitutes it's just gonna do bad on him and uh, yeah and it's gonna do about half with plus two and that is the power of my muck and now I'm gonna go for the fire blast to take this guy out which is amazing because that thing could have been a threat but yeah it's out of here so he's gonna switch out to his um, alakazam for some reason i stay in and he goes for the psychic and takes me out terrible play on my part i have no idea why i did this i had my dawn fun i could have dead fodder but of course i'm gonna stay in now i'm gonna go to ex federico because i know federico at the e speed nobody's gonna see this coming and boom out of here son Get out of here! And now he's dead. Okay, I just messed that. Get out of here, son. Blah, 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 blah. Now I'm gonna switch out of here knowing that uh, Muck totally was me. And I'm gonna switch out to my uh, 
Yeah, I was going to see the sets and I'm going to start a blue side. And he's going to make a terrible play by going for the explosion, killing his mux so quickly. But it may have been good in the long run because Bluezard could have threatened this team totally. And uh, yeah, it's whatever thing, but uh, both of us die. His mark is dead out of the way. One wall is dead. Amazing. I'm going to send out my Federico. And he's going to go to his Emphoros. I don't know why I like saying Federico. It's cool. It's cool. And I know uh, Emphoros totally walls me. I'm going to send out Golding. And he still is going to go for a T-Bolt for some odd reason. And now I know he's going to go for the hidden power or some move so I'm gonna switch out to my platypus my lap my uh, dugong and uh, yeah he's gonna go for the five punch not gonna do much at all and now I want to inflict as much damage as possible on this guy because he's the biggest threat and my check to it is at very low damage that one five punch will kill it my dawn fit so now he's gonna go for the t-ball it is a solid two shot as you can see here and uh, yeah um, one and a half rather but it's a whatever thing and uh, now I am going to go for a surf and uh, as you're gonna see surf is going to get this crit this crit is a really really it's a blessing it is a blessing because now one e speed from this range is a definite core on this thing Definite KO on this thing. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch out to my Z's now because it is faster as well And I can just go for the psychic which is a guarantee kill because E speed may not kill I'm gonna go for the psychic while he's gonna switch out and send out his Aerodactyl Which is going to take the psychic considerably well and uh, yeah Now I am gonna go for the light screen take this opportunity to go for the light screen because This is the only chance I get to because his Aerodactyl is paralyzed and he may get para hacks and wing attack as you're gonna see He's not doing much and now I'm gonna go for the um, thunder punch and it's not gonna take him out he's gonna survive with a smidgen and now he's gonna go for the earthquake which is doing almost oh I thought he's okay uh, whatever I forgot he's gonna get the crit as you're gonna see he has three Pokemon uh, only have two left but Federico the monster going to go for the T-Bowl he's paralyzed I am faster and going to take that Aerodactyl out two all at the moment one Two one actually because my uh, my what what's his name my dolphin yeah my dolphin is almost dead and I'm gonna go for the extreme feet definitely not gonna take this guy out so that's really really terrible because he's gonna be able to get the rest up so uh, yeah I'm just moving my screen but yeah he's gonna get the rest up which is really really terrible because um, that could have done a lot of stuff so yeah I'm gonna get my dynamic punch up. Brilliant, get the confusion hack. This is the one which is going to help me out because if he hits himself with confusion, I'm gonna bank on it and I'm gonna win. So he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt because of my light screen, it's gonna do nothing. My light screen's gonna go better off. But as you're gonna see here, I'm gonna go for the E speed, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I'm gonna go for the E speed. And E speed's gonna do the same amount of dynamic punch. And I'm gonna hope that I do get the dynamic, uh, I get the confusion and I get it. Amazing. One more. I need this one more. If I get it, I am going to win. This is going to be my game. I'm going to go for the E-Speed and <gasps> the moment of truth. Yes, sir. I get it. Brilliant. Now one E-Speed will take him out. One more is going to take him out. Brilliant. Awesome. Thank you, God. I am going to win it. And now he's going to send out his Howling. Crunch is not going to do much. And uh, yay, as you're going to see, I'm going to take this opportunity. Go for the Dynamic Punch. Boom! Solid one shot with max damage. And he's going to get confused. And now I'm going to finish the game off with his E speed. But of course, Oliver, 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 Oliver is going to run uh, which is a really really spoiled sport and from a 2-0 victory he's going to make it a 6-0 poor guy for no reason he's going to run being a spoiled sport but it's a whatever thing i did win good game oliver check him out if you want to uh, link in the description and uh, yeah make y'all the signing out peace rate comment, subscribe bye bye